Hey everybody, I am at the convention, obviously, I'm inside. Uh, I just left my delegation seat because uh, I'm a little concerned about something that I'm seeing. I don't have any facts about any of this, I don't want to make allegations of things that may or may not be true, but I got here late. Everybody who's been following me knows that uh, I didn't go to bed from yesterday till 11 a.m. this morning. Slept in, didn't get to the convention on time, got here around 5, 30, 6 o'clock. When I got here, it was empty. Uh, not a lot of people here for a lot of different reasons. There are Hillary delegates that aren't here because of events that are going on outside the convention. And there are a lot of Bernie people who aren't here because they're protesting outside. Uh, I got up and I was contemplating leaving. Uh, but I'm going to stay because the convention is full now. Every seat in the house is full. So those seat fillers you guys were hearing about, it's real. They're in here now. There are a lot of people sitting near me who I don't know or have seen the entire time I was here. I've been hearing from some of you who have been contacting me by text and direct message that the media is talking about how the convention looks more unified today, that you know, everybody's applauding in unity and chanting in unity, and it's it's because the Bernie people aren't here. The Bernie people aren't here, and the people that are here are getting paid to sit in their seats and clap their hands. That's what I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I believe. That's what I see with my eyes. Uh, they have the floor closed off right now uh, for anybody who gets out of their seat to go to the bathroom, which is how this all started for me. Uh, or to do anything. If you're hungry, if you leave your seat, you can't get back in right now. And my guess is that's because a seat filler is in your seat. And the optics of everybody having to shift and stand and move is not something they want to see. I don't know if they're going to do it for all the speakers tonight or if it was maybe just for Biden and then maybe just for Obama. But there are people in that hall who are being represented in the media as Bernie Sanders people, and they are not. Don't believe what you see on TV. Don't get mad at the people that you think are here representing you because they're not here right now. They're fighting outside. I'm going to join them later. I think it's important that some of us are in here with eyes and ears open to find out what's going on. Uh, but that's what I see with my eyes right now. Is there are a lot of people here that aren't delegates who are standing and clapping and cheering for somebody that we aren't ready to believe in. Uh, share the word, share this message. People need to know, the media needs to know, so they stop telling everybody in America that we're together, because we're not together yet. There's a lot of work left to be done. The Democrats are not gonna get a free ride on this. We will hold them accountable for what they've done, because that's what all you told me today based on my earlier video. There's no one issue that's gonna make any of you ready for Hillary. So, there's a lot of work left, left to be done, and uh, get to it now. You guys got to start. Uh, it took me a long time to get this live connection going. I don't know when I'm going to be able to go on again. I'm going to kind of shut my, down, my phone down for a little while, let the battery charge. Do some of the work for me, guys. Share this. Get it out. Talk to you later. Bye.